I hope it wasn't a reels. Like a real. I hope so. <laughs> Doc, have you seen a real? I watch nothing but uh, true crime. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not committing tr true crimes. I have OCD, so I think I might. So I. I have, did I commit? Do you know that I lived? I lived in Citrus Heights. I didn't live in Citrus Heights. I worked as a comedian in Citrus Heights at the same time period with the Golden State Killer. You oh, know, yeah. right? Did I, help, did I help him and I don't remember? <laughs> did I? You know how when you're young, something sounds like a good idea, right, right. but then you get there. You're not sure if you, yeah. But, or worse, did I get amnesia like a 70s TV show and I don't remember? You know what's something they say, on, I watch a lot of true crime too. The, 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 you know what's something, I, I, I was thinking about this today. <laughs> I, I, like, here's, a, here's a myth I would like to like, I, well, maybe it's not a myth, but it's just like when something is so accepted as true, like sometimes you just want to be the person to disrupt it, question yeah. it a little bit. Like I, this thing that is just like there's no matter what kind of parent you are, if, you're, if your child dies, like the one thing that every parent knows to do, like there are some parents who will go to the airport and shoot the guy that – that, that, that killed their kid. Why and, the and airport? Be like, and be like, I don't fucking care. You do it. You do it. Why, why the airport? Why though? the airport? That's what I was thinking, too. Because he's being flown back in because of extradition laws because he uh, killed your kid and, and went to Brazil. Not trying oh, to get you away. You can't just Not wait for the courtroom. <laughs> well, why do you have to go all the way to LAX when you could just go to the courtroom? Then there's, then there's parents who will, like, go to death row and visit the killer and, like, petition to have the killer not on death row because they'll be like, look, I'm a Christian. That's a courtroom. I, I, well, no, <laughs> you have to I, petition in a courtroom. That is a good aspect no, of No, there's also some Christianity. people who will go and visit with the killer of their loved one in prison. Like, like, they while don't say there, it like that. They don't say I'm going to see the killer of my loved one. I you they, make it sound like it's a romance right. novel. <laughs> I All these I didn't fucked think I was up things. You weren't mincing Here's words. Here's my point. Yes. You were chopping and dicing There's a lot of different him. ways to deal with your kid getting killed. Okay. Right. Here's the one thing that everyone agrees on. The what pill? What? You say ginseng? <laughs> the ginseng what's, pill? Yeah, what's the pill? Here's the <laughs> right. Here's the one thing that I'm everyone agrees on. They all say when they're at the they go, you know, the one thing you're not supposed to do is bury your kid. Everyone agrees on that. Okay, so can we just hack that a little bit? Like, and just be like, I mean, you don't want your kid to die, but if your kid does die, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a strictly Darwinian sense, aren't you killing it? Like, like aren't you like, 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 should, like, could one person just like be at the funeral and be like, hey, check it out, burying my kid over here. <laughs> I'm fucking winning. Like I, I, I like I'm I'm so, I'm 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 so good at life. I'm fucking shooting dead things out of me. Like I I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a fucking god over here. No. Why? No. Why? Is yeah. Why is the guy excited now? He's because excited. Because he's excited for the one reason no one's ever excited. I'm just saying like because he's burying his kids. He's burying that his makes kid. you it Color makes you look surprised. super guilty. <laughs> right. But that makes your generate you you failed because you were supposed to make that person live to like give birth and so. Y you couldn't do that, right? Isn't that like worse? Well, yeah, but what, do you think frogs feel that way? Frogs don't feel that way. Is this what playing Dungeons and Dragons is like? We're getting yeah. close. <laughs> We're kind of skimming the edge. I didn't say it would be a. I didn't say it would be a popular new uh, <laughs> no, 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 craze I like that we should all run out and do. <laughs> I'm just kind of saying, like, if you, th you know, there are people like MIT people that invent like robot bugs and stuff, and they, they go, and you know, what I like to do is I like to notice what everyone's assuming and then disrupt that assumption. Like, you never know. A lot of those things shouldn't be disrupted. I think we found one. Uh, not, a, not, a, not catching on the idea of bragging about uh, outliving your children. <laughs> it's an untapped market. Also, also, what is the use? What is the uh, application? Of uh, of saying about uh, outliving your children, how does that help you? I totally forgot what I was saying. I just this has been happening to me. I'm on Prozac. I'm on Adderall during the day. I'm on Prozac at night. But recently, it may have to do with the vapor vape pot. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh yeah. I but recently, you were say, recently, I just I just woke up on a pile of Skittles. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> so does anybody? Re and now I paid someone fifty bucks. Does anybody remember what I just said? Because uh, I don't remember it. 
to answer the question, like, what would be the application? Um, imagine that you're a 60-year-old woman. I'm a, I can imagine it as a man. First of all, that's his, that's his backwards way of telling people how old I am. Look, I know how this guy works. I've seen these guy and guys. He's a shocks my whole life. Now, Andy, if you were, let's say you were a 60-year-old woman, what the fuck are you saying to me? <laughs> I'm a 60-year-old man. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Not only that, I wish I was 60. Not only that, you're making this like, I know what you're doing here. Uh, this, uh, five years from now, this is, as an older person, <laughs> I won't be able to handle this. I'll put this down here. I'll, I'll go forward. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I could, I don't know that I could use that table You couldn't re remember what I was saying, though, right? No, if I, you had to pay, it was like, how important could it have been? It, could, it was I've good. I've been with you every step of the way. I, I, but I, you wouldn't be able to remember it, right? Not tomorrow. I don't. Well, I mean now. I mean, like playback. What do you think? What did I say? God bless. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> was it spir is spirituality based? I, would just, I think it was about ginseng. I was just killing people? The, I'm saying the, what you wanted he to know, know what would be the practical application of of outliving your kids as like and bragging Yeah, but about I had it. a joke. I had a joke about it. And now I can't remember the joke. So there can't po it can't be any possible point I could make with that setup. Well, it's my point. It would have wanna, to be the, it would have to be a joke. Like imagine being a 60-year-old woman, I'm saying. Will you stop pointing out to the fact <laughs> that I am indeed the same age range as the character you're talking about? <laughs> Except my cis gender is male. I don't know what I'm saying. And I am a 60 year old man, and I'm down at the uh, other end of the honky tonk. And like, then you get handed a drink, and the bartender says, That's on the gentleman down there. Okay. He wants you to know he's so virile that he outlives his children. <laughs> and, I would say, you know, I'd say, oh, what a jokester. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I, you, yeah, like, you look down and I'm like raising my glass, tipping guy. my cowboy hat. <laughs> and, then we, and then it's good for one line dance and I get to know you over a shimmy timmy. I, th I remember the line. K Andy. Go. I remember the line. Andy, What go. I meant to say was, if you, uh, the fact that you go uh, outliving your kid is the worst thing. So that's not great to do it if, when someone dies. You say to them, hey, <laughs> at least you're not one of those outliving your kid situations, right? right. Just your wife. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Okay, you go, someone's wife dies, right? right? So sorry you hear about Esther would be a Jew woman. Right. So yeah. sorry you hear that Esther passed away. But at least you're not. Oh, yeah. At least yeah. you're not outliving your kids, am I right? Yeah, yeah, that's the worst. Look on the bright side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she, uh, didn't Esther like the true crime shows? And didn't they always say on those shows you should never outlive your kids? Right. So but you know what? nailing it. Yeah. No, more na no more nagging. Am I right, fellas? Yeah. From Esther? <laughs> These are two guys bonding. I don't know if it's her. If, is Esther your wife? She, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why is I one, two, so. three, four this guy's password? Mr. Big Shot. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. I have the greatest password in the business. <laughs>